Psychology says people who cry easily are often misunderstood, not weak, not broken, and definitely not too emotional. And I know exactly what you've been told your whole life. You've been told you're too sensitive. You've been told to toughen up. You've probably spent years apologising for your tears, feeling that sting in your throat, trying to swallow them back just to make other people comfortable. But what if I told you that your tears aren't a sign that your system is failing? What if psychology proves that they are actually a sign that your system is working better than most? If you cry easily at movies, or when you're angry, or even when you see someone else in pain, you need to watch this. Because we are going to flip the script on weakness and show you the biological superpower you didn't know you had. First, let's kill the biggest myth, and that is crying is a loss of control. In psychology, there is a personality trait known as HSP, or the highly sensitive person. But I don't love the word sensitive because it sounds fragile. I prefer the term high resolution nervous system. Think of the average person's nervous system like a standard 1080p TV. It sees the picture, it gets the job done. But you? You are operating in 8K resolution. You absorb more data from your environment than other people do. You pick up on micro expressions, shifts in tone, and the vibe of a room the second you walk in. When you cry easily, it's not because you are breaking down. It's because your hard drive is processing so much emotional data that your body needs a way to discharge the excess energy. Here is the biology that most people ignore. Humans are the only species on Earth that cry emotional tears. Why would evolution keep that trait if it was a weakness? It wouldn't. It kept it because it's a survival mechanism. When you cry, your body releases leucine encephalin, a natural painkiller. But more importantly, it forcibly activates your parasympathetic nervous system. That is your body's rest and digest mode. People who don't cry, they often carry that stress hormone, cortisol, in their bloodstreams for days or weeks. It turns into headaches, high blood pressure, and burnout. But you? You have a built-in release valve. When you cry, you are literally flushing cortisol out of your body through your tears. You aren't losing it. You are physically resetting your nervous system so you can bounce back faster. You are efficient. Now, let's talk about the specific type of crying that confuses people the most. Crying when others are hurt, or even crying at a commercial or a movie. This is where psychology gets fascinating. This is linked to mirror neurons. These are brain cells that allow us to mirror the experience of others. If you cry easily, you likely have hyperactive mirror neurons. This is the foundation of high emotional intelligence. While the average person can intellectually understand that someone is sad, you physically feel it. You aren't just observing the world, you are participating in it. This is not a flaw. This is a leadership trait. The best therapists, the best leaders, and the best parents often possess this trait. Why? Because you can't heal what you can't feel. Your ability to cry means you haven't numbed yourself to the human experience. In a world that is becoming increasingly disconnected and cold, your sensitivity is actually a superpower of connection. So, let's go back to that word, weakness. Society tells us that stoicism is strength, that having a stiff upper lip is brave, but psychology tells us a different story. Repression is easy. Numbing out is easy. Acting like you don't care is a defence mechanism. Do you know what is actually hard? Feeling. Staying soft in a hard world takes courage. Letting your guard down enough to shed tears takes guts. The people who mock you for crying, they are usually the ones who are terrified of their own emotions. They are uncomfortable with your tears because it reminds them of the feelings they have buried deep inside themselves. You are the one brave enough to process it in real time. So, the next time your eyes well up, whether it's because you're angry, happy, or just overwhelmed by the beauty of a sunset, do not apologise. Do not look down. Your tears are proof that you are paying attention. 
They are proof that you are alive, and they are proof that your psychology is working exactly as it was designed to. You are not too much. You are just enough. If this video made you feel seen, do me a favour. I want to know who my sensitive tribe is. Leave a teardrop emoji in the comments if you're part of the club. And if you want to understand more about your own psychology and why you act the way you do, hit that subscribe button. We dive deep into the human mind every single week, and I'd love to have you here. I'll see you in the next one.